Hi, this is Rick Wagner from the Law Office of Rick Wagner. And let's talk a minute about drugs, specifically driving while someone's on drugs. And specifically, let's talk about marijuana, because that's got to be something that's coming up more and more in auto accidents. And, you know, one of the reasons is because marijuana these days is a lot more powerful than it used to be. And sometimes people imbibe a little too much in it and don't realize how really incapable of driving well that they are. Part of that reason is because a lot of folks over 50 equate marijuana with what it used to be when they were young kids and they were smoking marijuana. That's because the THC content at that time and then in the 90s, early 90s, was about 3 to 5%. Now, THC, that's tetrahydrocannabinol for you chemists out there, is what makes all those uh, Pink Floyd albums so interesting and so forth. But they also impair a person's judgment and just make things not very clear when you're trying to drive, especially as demanding as that is anymore. And now, because of the concentration of THC in the new products, the new cannabis products out there, uh, they can be up to 40 or 50 percent THC, nine or 10 times stronger than what people are familiar with in the early 90s. And so it's so much easier for someone to take some in and not realize how impaired they are and get into or cause a bad traffic accident. First of all, if you're involved in an accident and you suspect someone has been smoking cannabis, and that was part of the accident's problem, you need to make sure you inform law enforcement of that right away. If you're someone who's thinking of driving when you've been imbibing on a lot of cannabis, don't do it. You not only hurt yourself, you get yourself in a whole lot of trouble just because driving under the influence of drugs is just as serious as driving under the influence of alcohol. But remember, sometimes edibles and things like this that take a while to get into your system can be a lot stronger than you think they are. And try and make sure that there's some way to determine how strong the cannabis that you're using is so that you have some idea how it's going to affect you, especially before you head out on the highway. Hopefully, this isn't going to happen to anybody. But if someone has that happen, feel free to call us. I'm Rick Wagner. All we do is personal injury, auto accidents, and things of that nature. Hopefully, it'll never happen to you. But if it does, give us a call.